Hello everybody, I'm Dennis Upwan, State Representative for House District 17. The only House District that turned from red to blue last year, right here in the heart of El Paso County. As we gather as one united community and one united voice on this Labor Day holiday, it is most fitting indeed to remember the enduring legacy of the late Senator Edward M. Kennedy who fought for the working class, the poor and disenfranchised, and raised the, afford the minimum wage standards and whose own life cause, affordable health care for all, is what binds us together as one. Let us recommit our unwavering efforts such that the work goes on, the cause endures, the hope still lives, and the dream shall never die. Let us also let us also remember the fighting words of another American who had a dream, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., when he said, and I quote, of all forms of inequality, injustice in healthcare is the most shocking and inhumane, end of quote. And the first step in addressing that inequality is to keep speaking out, something that frankly none of those on our side are doing enough of right now. If those on our side could only hear the words of Dr. King when he said, Cowardice asks the question, is it safe? Expediency asks the question, is it politic? But conscience asks the question, is it right? And there comes a time when, ma when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular but because conscience tells us that it is right. Yeah. And of course, yeah. The core problem right now is that about 30% of every healthcare dollar goes to insurance conglomerate and big pharmaceutical overhead and profit, a large part of which represents medical care wrongfully and purposefully denied. If you are looking for so-called death panels, they are in the existing business model in place for the corporate medical insurance industry, where bureaucrats are under the directive to deny as much care as they can get away with. And yet all we hear on cable TV are unrelenting lies and smears about socialism and ration care, as if that language was not old and tired enough already. That is why, as state representatives, I support single-payer health care because it is the only solution that provides health care for everyone and contains costs while improving quality. This statement is based on undeniable facts. The Lewin analysis done for the 208 Commission demonstrated that only the Colorado Health Services Plan would provide comprehensive health coverage to everyone in Colorado and decrease overall spending. I also remain open to a robust public option on a national level and support the right of states to pursue their own innovative health reform plans. I recognize that it is unlikely that national legislation will enacting single-payer financing will be passed in 2009 or 2010. At the same time, people are suffering now due to inability to access health care. As such, I support efforts that will immediately decrease pain and suffering. What single payer does, essentially, is to pool the medical interests of those who need care and thereby gives them the power to negotiate through whatever is established as the funding agency, favorable and truly competitive pricing from the medical service providers. Government does not take over health care. It just takes the responsibility for paying for it. And by eliminating the complicated coverage bureaucracies, it is much more efficient system with low overhead. And that is why it is so mortally opposed by those profiting off our existing, inefficient, uneconomically system right now. I remain hopeful that passage of comprehensive legislation at a national level may be accompanied by passage of legislation that allows state-based innovation in health care. 
The entire so-called debate, such as it is, is being driven by a tiny handful of loudmouths given oversized coverage in corporate media from a couple of lunatics disrupting town halls to right-wing reactionaries with giant media megaphones. Yet and still, the only way that they can possibly win is for us not to raise our voices <laughs> and keep doing so. Here. Speak yeah. out! <laughs> speak out again and keep speaking out. Don't let the handful of right-wing loudmouths be the only voices out there. There are many more of us on the people's side. If you just have your voice heard, there is no corporate power that can prevail against us. They are depending on your silence to cheat you out of the medical care that you deserve as a citizen of the United States of America. Is this the only first world country where we can put into place good public policy in place? Don't let it happen. Please speak out and enjoin others to do the same. So please involve yourselves in the national debate. Urge your congressional delegates to support Congressman Kucinich's amendment to H.R. 3200, America's Affordable Health Choices Act of 2009, which states that a state may operate a single-payer system. This amendment has bipartisan support. Passage of H.R. 3200 with this amendment would allow Colorado to enact comprehensive health care reform utilizing single-payer financing. Colorado can create and pioneer its own wonderful health system. Oh yes, we can. A uniquely Colorado solution because health care is not just a privilege for the few. Health care is a right for everybody. Thank you.